Hey guys, it's Mr. Wahido Hak here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Qbot Rainbow, the first edition by the way. Uh, these were sent to me both by Qbot, different, two different phones, two diff same phones but I think the different colours. These are the Rainbow by the way. So let's go ahead and unbox one. Let's take one out of the way. We'll do another unbox. We'll do an unboxing of that as well. We'll do a proper one, then we'll do a really quick one where I just show you what's in different on this one. Uh, let's go ahead and open this one. We'll show you the box first. Very nice uh, effect. Look at that. Very nice uh, packaging. And this is reflective and co different colors. Rainbow color. Cubot there. Branding. Simple box packaging. Very nice. Got some Cubot IMEI numbers there. I think there's some specs, but they're covered up by this sign. So, yeah. And I'll show you the other box that I got the other day. Cubot also sent me this out as well last time. In my other video, go check it out. It's my Cuba Echo Echo review video on unboxing. Go check that one out. Very nice. This is the box of that one. As you can see, it's a bit different. I'll even show you the phone when I open this one. So you can see the comparison between them. Alright guys, let's open this guys. Are you ready? Simple packaging. Okay, so on this one, they've actually put the quick start guide on top. So quick start guide, just keep in touch. Well... Same thing as before, you got the simple stuff how to use it. All this stuff is simple stuff that should be easy to know if you're used to Android by the way. If you're not then I recommend reading this out guys. Gallery, okay this one's got intelligent keyboard as well, which is basically spell checker. Cut, copy and paste, maps, nothing else in there, we don't really need this guide. So yeah, alright let's go ahead and open this, are you ready? Ooh. Very sticky disc, I think is. So this is the phone itself. Ooh, that's really dirty. I'm gonna take this screen protector off. It's very, very dirty. And you got this case here. I don't really like this case, so I'm gonna take this one off as well. I don't use the other one. The other one came with the case as well, but I didn't use it. Uh, this is the white edition of it, I think, or maybe it's gold because the corners are gold. So yeah, we'll find out. So this is the case itself. I'll take off the screen protector, I'm not a fan of screen protectors in the first place. It's actually a very thin phone. I'm not even... wow. Okay, let me take this off. It's a normal screen protector, not glass. Look at that brand new screen, wow. So beautiful. Look at that screen, guys. Holy crap. Okay, so we've got a... Front-facing camera there, some sort of... I think that's where the LED light is. And a uh, sensor as well. The light sensor. You got speaker thing there. Three touch capacity buttons there. Uh, you got black borders actually around this, which I wasn't expecting. I'll give you a show of the other phone as well. This is the Qbot Echo, which I got the other day. So this is a Qbot Rainbow, Qbot Echo. As you can see, the size is very similar. In fact, they're actually the same size. <laughs> Length and width ways. But they're very... This one feels a lot heavier but it is more powerful. This one's a lot lighter and a bit thinner. And the designs are pretty much the same. Sort of. We just have that flipped on the other side. As you can see you got the 3.5mm jack and the micro USB port. And then on this side, whoa. These are higher up on this one. Very, very odd. Now if you look at the bottom, I like the design of this one better because you got these antenna type things. Very nice. And then the back of this, this is where the Cuba Echo wins guys. Look at the design of the back of that one. And then look at this one, just plain. Look, they, even the LEDs look nice where it's positioned and stuff and the camera's in the middle. Very nice guys. All right, so let's go back to this, the phone itself. So it's nice and curved here as well, so it fits your hands as well, very nice. Look, gold corners as well. Got microphone there. Speaker there, very nice to cut out there. You've got a nice texture there on the back, can you see? You've got the Qbot sign. This camera there. It looks a bit weird there. If you look up close to it. It's a bit dirty, I'll have to clean that as well. Someone's got a fingerprint in there. Uh, flash as well. They do test these by the way. So that's why sometimes you get a bit of dirt and stuff. To test them before they send it out because better to have a pro working product I guess. This might actually have a battery in already. I think it's dual sim as well. So I'll have a look at that though. Ah, very sharp guys. Ooh, that's hurting my hand guys. Stinging my hands. 
All right, this, let's open the back up. Simple back opening. It's a lot harder to take off than the Echo. If you haven't checked out my Echo, Cuba Echo video, I recommend go watching that as well first. So yeah, thank you Cuba for sending these out. So the battery's already in place for us, normally it isn't, but this time it is. Very nice of them, let's have a look at the battery. All right, so the battery is 2200 milliamp hour. Very, very small guys, very small. That one is 3000. This one's 2200, very small. It is dual SIM, and then you have the normal micro SD card as well. Very nice. Let's go ahead and boot this up. I'm also gonna do a virus test. Most of these come, these phones, Qbots come loaded with viruses. I'm not sure why, and I need to show you something guys. In my last video I said uh, there was no virus on my my phone. Okay, let's just show the boot up first. So we've got the normal boot up, Qtop, Qbot, same on the other one. All right, so yeah, let's see how fast this boot up is guys. While I'm saying that, I shall tell you the tech specs of this, I shall tell you the specs of this phone. All right, so it uses a MediaTek 6580, which is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz, quad core as well. It uses Mali 400 MP, which is pretty decent. It only has one gig of RAM, which is a letdown on this phone. But uh, the back, wow, the sound is horrible. Let me turn that off. Wow, that lag, do you see that lag already? And I just started on the phone, guys. That's awful guys, All right? So 120% battery. It looks like stock Android. Very speedy as you can see. All right, so this has one gig of RAM, 16 gigs of, uh, 16 gigabyte of storage. Not that big. Android 6.0, micro SD card, you can take one of them. And then you can do, it uses micro SIM cards, which is two ports. Uh, the screen is five inch, 720p only. IPS screen though, so you get good viewing angles as you can see. 16 million colors, and the PPI ratio is 294, which is quite low to be honest. I'm used to very high, and the contrast is pretty bad as well. Uh, it looks very bright though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that, that's, that could be why. It's very high up. Okay, so we've got some stuff there. Let's see what's here. I'm actually gonna send a file from Bluetooth here. Oh, no, I can't do that actually, I don't think. I'm gonna have to connect this to Wi Fi to show you what I wanna show you. Let me just connect this to Wi Fi, guys. Okay, so you do get haptic feedback when you're typing. Can you hear that? Okay, so let me just connect to Wi Fi. Okay, okay, oh. There you go. Connect it to the Wi Fi. I'm gonna download AVG and Malware Bytes, both of them. Oh, come on, I think I might need a Google account now. Holy crap, guys. This is the only part I don't like. Lots of effort. Yes, I do, guys. So hold on, bear with me with a second. Okay, guys. So while I'm waiting, I shall tell you the rest of the tech specs. It does seem to take a while. Very slow. All right, so the back camera is actually 13 megapixel, which, I'm not ex which I wasn't expecting. The front is a 5 megapixel, and it uses a 500 milliamp hour uh, LED flash which doesn't sound a lot powerful now in my last video I said on this phone I said that there wasn't any viruses however AVG doesn't pick it up sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't these ones are very hard to find so I had to get malware bytes malware bytes and look out find these malware type of viruses for you so yeah let's get started on this one while well, I show you what this comes up on this one this phone is actually very rapid guys look at that See how rapid this phone is. And I believe it's only, well, that's frozen, guys, no wonder. Let's try again. Malware bytes. Let's scan and I'll show you. Ready, guys? Get started. No, give me ads. Give me ads, man. Hey, come back. As you can see, we're already hitting, because of that one gig RAM, we're already hitting slowdowns. While this is happening, Put these to the side, look inside the box, what else is here? Here, installation guide of how to install the battery and SIM cards. Uh, oh, found a threat already. There you go, malware. But yeah, you got a Qbot wire, fake Samsung one, and then you have the charger though. I'm not sure what's on the other end though. 
But then it has nothing in there, that's where the charger was meant to be. As you can see, both devices have issues. And then you got this charger thing here. Let me just put that away. Nothing else in there. Now we'll look at the next phone, just so I can take out the next phone for you. So this is the exact same phone as this one, the rainbow. Okay, so this one actually starts with this on top, which the other one didn't have. Just compliance telling you it supports every EU stuff. Quick start guide, everything's the same. And this is protected by that. So this one has been packaged properly, as you can see. And I don't like skin protectors, so I'm going to take that off. Let's see what's inside here first as well. Nothing else in there, just these two. There's just the charger in there and the wire. We don't need them, we're not going to use them. It's very nicely packaged up though. Alright, so as you can see, let me take off this case, I'm not a fan of the cases. So this one is the actual gold one. Wow, look at the difference. So yeah, put this away for now. Very nice, very nice boxes. I'm going to take off the screen protectors, I hate them. I've mentioned this so many times. This one is very difficult, oh my days. Wow. This one's very stuck in there, guys. Let me just hold on, guys. Are you ready, guys? Brand new screen. Simple as that. So I'll give you a comparison of the two devices. Wow. This is the white, this is the gold. Look at the difference. Look at the how look how look how nice does that look? It's a lot better. Let's turn this one on as well. Okay, all on now. These are fingerprint magnets, by the way, these IPS screens. Let's go ahead and turn this one on. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, Windows Update, wireless update is a classified as an intrusive adware. So what they do is play ads. Oh, do you see that? Okay, so many, wow. Okay, so what adware is intrusive as well. They're gonna keep playing ads, so it pays for it, basically. These are all sponsored items as well. Thank you, Cuba, for sending these out anyway. So yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, disable it. I think we can disable it. So the only thing we can do is literally disable it. But I believe it will turn itself on again somehow. But for now, we're protected. Now we'll use malware bytes. Which is there, okay? And I'll show you on this phone. This phone, actually, AVG didn't detect anything at all. So it's protected from that, but then we have this one. I'll show you. Scanner. Two malware found and we can't get rid of them at all. What can I do now? Run a scan. I'll show you. We'll leave that to scan while I look at the next phones. Let's set this phone up now. And this one's just starting up, so we'll get that one doing in a second. Alright, okay, we're just checking the connection now. This one, let's do next and then we'll do a scan. Skip that for now. No, no. Need to actually scan that one. One one malware found, two found there. You ready? How's it found protect how's it found issues already? There you go. Now we're scanning. So this one's found two malwares. No, thank you. As you can see. I do like the design of this phone a lot better, I'm not gonna lie. This gold one is pretty decent though. I'm just signing guys. Damn guys, it's 4 a.m. in my country now. UK by the way. Still scanning guys, still scanning. This is, as you can see, how fast these differences are. That was really fast, this is very slow. That's got more RAM as well by one gigabytes. That does help a bit, I guess. Automatically back up, no, thank you. Ah, nice. This one's got vibration feedback when you hit that. Right, let's go into Play Store, guys. We are going to get AVG and malware bytes, just like the other time. Ready? Do a scan. Malware will be found. I really did want to use one of these phones as my business phone, but uh, I just can't trust them. This one is still scanning, guys. Holy crap. Okay, found one malware. Possibly a second one. Oh, we found a threat on the third one. Start, look at that. Disable that. Do you see that, guys? The same app on the, and these Chinese phones. The Kubot phones itself. Disable it. Come on, guys. Let me disable it. 
Oh, that's not even disabling. The hell is going on? Disable. For stop first, maybe. Anything? Okay, it's been disabled. As you can see. Now we'll do a malware bite thing to it. Ready? Where's malware bites? There it is. Now this one actually has more charge as well. Alright, so these are the issues we have here. Okay, so this one's got Trojan hidden apps. So look at that. The same app on both phones has viruses. With different types of virus. This is a Trojan. This will capture your details. This is also a Trojan. That will capture your details. That's a system UI as well. So it's capturing anything you type in. Which I'm very... F I'm very scared. So yeah. This is Android. I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi off on these ones. Alright. Do scan on this one quickly. Leave this on. So we've got loads of different things. That's another Trojan. That's hidden inside the caller ID app. These two, that's hidden straight into the Trojan. It's an actual Trojan. It's hidden straight into the system. That's also the same. It's not good, is it, guys? And then let me show, I'll show you what happens if you try to delete them, guys. Uninstall system UI, unsuccessful because it's a system app. Unsuccessful, so you're literally stuck with these. Only thing you can do is return these phones. That's literally all you can do. Or root it, which is difficult. I've tried rooting it through computer, through apps, nothing works. So we'll do the last one here, see what comes up. Alright guys, this is taking a very, very long time. It's definitely not faster than that one. I'd say it's the same as say, because they are same phones anyway. That one was definitely the fastest because he's more powerful. Okay guys, as you can see already, two malware is found already. Turn that back on. Okay, so as you can see, these two are exact same, the viruses that they have on it. As you can see, let's try delete it again. Not a chance of it getting deleted though. System UI, you can't delete that. You just can't do anything. So you're stuck with phones that you can't do anything about. With viruses. Trojan viruses, which will steal your data. So I don't want to use it. I accident. I did. I didn't even... Because AVG marked as clean. I used PayPal on here. So that's a very bad idea of me. But PayPal has encryption. So I hope they managed to keep that out of there. But I won't be doing much on these phones anymore. I will be playing some games and stuff on this one and maybe this one. One of these. So I'll download the game so you can see the performance and stuff. Because I still have to, I will still show you these. These are sponsored phones. But yeah, thank you Kuba for sending these out to me. I'm not too impressed by all the viruses and stuff. If you could sort that out then please do. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're shocked by all this, please comment down below. Thank you guys for watching.